Let's talk about my six favorite websites that I like to use with Final Fantasy 14. These are my must have websites and I would really like to know if you guys have any websites that you really like. Now these aren't all of them, but these are just the top six that I regularly use on a daily or weekly basis. Let's just jump right into it and this leads us to website number one, FinalFantasy14Gathering.com. Now I am an end game gatherer and crafter and getting the timers is super important. A lot of people use another website that I'll talk about in a little bit. I specifically like this one because it has a really simple interface. If you just go to Unspoiled, Folklore, Ephemeral, Botany, or Mining, you can switch between what you want to gather for. If you want to do a little bit of a combination of each, then you simply just have to click on the names under the different subsections and go on watching. Now you'll see that it will show everything that you clicked on. This is just literally the simplest website for gathering and one of my absolute favorites. And it even tells you which ones have the most scripts when gathering them so you can prioritize those. You can also change expansions, look at different resources or look at the rotations if you need a little refresher. I simply just use this for the timer part and it just makes it again really easy to use. The next website that I like to use is Garland Data. A lot of people use Garland Bell and I do too but not as often as I use the other gathering website. What I like about Garland Data as you can see as I'm already crafting some other stuff is the crafting list specifically. Now with this crafting list and a lot of the times when I'm crafting in Final Fantasy 14 I am crafting a lot or bulk and I would just want to know the full total of materials and things that I need to get. Garland Data offers this super, super easily. It has a lot of other functions, but this is probably my favorite. So if I go into contents, I have a few of the Sage Endgame crafted item. When you click on them and add them to a crafting list, you can just go to crafting and it will show you everything that you need to collect in order to make these items. Not only will it show you what you need to collect, it will show you how many tombstones you need. It will show you if they're a special gathering, say on a timer, or if it's just regular gathering. If you click on the individual items, it will also show you how to get that item if you need ethereal reduction and just everything involved. This is the best full picture crafting list that I've come across and I absolutely cannot live without. When I crafted all of my gathering gear for my retainers, I put everything in here and it was like something like 20, it was like almost 30 crafts. It was seven of each different gear piece and I just couldn't have done it without this. Once you get what you need, you can just click off the list and it will start zeroing everything so you can easily track what you have. After you gather and craft what you need, you'll see if you scroll down to the bottom, it will show you that you'll be able to craft when that purple circle pops up. This is again, just one of my favorite websites for crafting and really easy to search everything you need. Let me know what you guys use this website for. I really only use this for the crafting list, not because I don't wanna use it for anything else, but this is just like the most effective thing for me personally. This next website probably has to be like, again, the first thing I open whenever I play and that is XIV to do. These right here offer everything that is available for weeklies and dailies reset. This game is so vast and there's just so much to do that it's really hard to keep track and you can easily miss stuff every single week. Once you do it, you can check off what you have completed Say you don't do some of these, you can customize it and be able to change what you want to see and don't want to see. The other favorite part of this website is it actually tracks what you complete in game. This is a really cool feature because there are some things that I didn't realize that I didn't have unlocked like Kugani Oyashi. This is something to one of the quest lines that is in Final Fantasy 14 that I haven't completed yet. This is again, just a really big, big picture of things that you still have to do and you can even change if you want it to be spoiler free, which I just think is really awesome. The quest lines is one of my favorite parts because these are all kind of the extra things that you can do in Final Fantasy 14. So you can figure out what you still have to do. Like I've completed some beast tribes, I still have some side stories to do. Definitely relic quest because I haven't done a lot of those and it automatically just ticks everything off for you. So you have to do no tracking at all. If you want 
something to give you an overview of what you have to do weekly and daily or to track your progress in Final Fantasy 14, this is the absolute best website for that. Next is probably my go-to in terms of glamour. This is a really phenomenal website to be able to switch up glamour and maybe not everybody's into this, but it's really nice to match your glamour with your job. And this is how I find inspiration to figure out what I want to play as and what glamours I want to wear. You can check by your character, which I'm a Vera, and then you can check the specific job that you're looking for. So let's say Sage. Once you apply filters or anything you want, it's going to show up. I'm going to switch this to actually female because that's going to change the glamour and here you can see all these amazing glamour shots of sage glamour wear now it's really easy to get sucked into this and go down a rabbit hole no pun intended figuring out what glamours you want and what you want to go for but the great thing about this website is when you click on the glamour it's going to show you exactly what you need to complete this glamour you can then just do a simple search on where to get this or go to the lodestone but i just usually google it to make it go faster and you can see why i'm completely obsessed with this so if i wanted to make this snow fox glamour which is done by rico zaitseva thank you very much for this glamour on eorzea collection i can go and find how to do this this is going to be for all of those glamour nerds out there who just love to focus on glamour and really role play in the game you can even submit your own glamours really easily i've done it myself you've seen any of my glamours then leave a comment down below if you found it final fantasy collect now this is mostly known for the blue mage magic in order to figure out where to get each spell for blue mage but there's so many other things that i use this for specifically under achievements and item rewards you can figure out how to get some of those special items that you can only get by completing achievements. This is really great because sometimes I'm just in the mood to want to get special items and do a little bit of grinding. And some of these I'm actually really close to that I didn't even realize. You can also check out where mounts and minions are as well as where to get emotes. This is usually what I use the website for but there's so many other things that you can track down. If you log in and do everything, it will tick off what you have under certain parts. Like one of the things that I like is shows you which relic weapons that you've already gotten. It also gives you a percentage of an overall completion for all your stuff. And this exactly is from your lodestone and relates to the achievements you unlock. So this is just a really cool way to see how far you've gone. Really easy to use, really straightforward and just really great for finding that special mount or minion that you've been wanting. Last but certainly not least, this is really awesome because you can look up the market for your server and if you want to keep things super cheap when you're crafting or buy things, then you can figure out where to buy from. This is also really great to figure out what is selling for what. I use this specifically a lot for materia as I like to make sure to pentameld all of my jobs and crafters and gatherers. Unless you're farming yourself, you really need to be able to buy this as cheaply as possible. Let's click on Savage Might Materia as an example. You can see that the cheapest one right now is 33,000 and this is on my own goblin server. If you click on cross world, it will show you that the cheapest right now is on coral and that's 25,000 for one. Just with a click of a button, I will be able to save for this Savage Might Materia. The possibilities are endless. This is an amazing way to check prices in order to figure out how to sell or buy. Just make sure you get the best bang for your gill. Comment down below on any of the ones you like to use or how you like to use these websites. It's just really great to learn what other people use. There's some that I still don't even know about that are really useful so let me know down below. I want to give a humble thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting me. Want to join my public discord or learn how to support this channel then you can click that link down in the bio. If you want to watch more and walker tips and guides 